Those of us who are not black men, imagine watching the news and seeing how people- Imagine being a black man and being told by some white lady with a microphone that you and the criminal on TV are one and the same because you look alike. Imagine being told by society that white people can be all that they can be, but you as a black man, the content of your character is completely irrelevant. You are the color of your skin and that is all you will ever be. Imagine being told you can't figure out how to vote because of the color of your skin. Socioeconomics affects everyone, but apparently you're not as smart as the poorest white person. Lady, I don't want to hate you. I'm a 90s kid. I grew up with you, so I know you're very talented. I understand your heart is in the right place, but you are everything you preach against. You're not helping. You're making things worse. You're causing more division. You're causing more fear. Statistically speaking, I am more likely to be shot and killed by my black elderly neighbor across the street than the cop who patrols my neighborhood. Statistically speaking, homicide by cop is very rare, but people like you find power in fear, so you keep it front page news. You don't have to be a white supremacist. You can be better. Any questions, guys? I mean, what more can I say that was not just said in that one minute clip in response to Alyssa Milano exhibiting her parental tendencies that the Democrats like to exert over black people, right? It's not much else I can really say. She hit the nail right on the head, every single point, okay? Internally, a lot of these people believe that black people can't do anything for themselves, okay? This is why, like I said, they have a paternalistic relationship with black people. We can't vote. We can't use a computer and we don't vote Democrat. We're not black. We can't outperform the other races when it comes to education. That's why you need things like affirmative action. We can't even get IDs. We can't go out in the street without the fear of being shot by police. These are the things that liberals want black people to believe that we're helpless, that we're victims, that we can't do anything for ourselves, that we need them and that they know what's best for us. That, that's literally what they think. And don't you dare think anything different. Don't you dare try to go over there with them conservatives, okay, and listen to their point of view because if you do that, then you're a sellout. Then you're an Uncle Tom. You're a traitor to your race. And this is stuff that's not coming from just black people on the left. It comes from white people on the left who say these same exact things. This is the type of stuff where, you know, again, I don't like calling people white supremacists, but yeah, if, if I had to characterize white supremacist behavior, this would be it. If I was a white supremacist, what would I want to do? I want to have control of black people. I would take police out of their neighborhoods. I would make them dependent on the government. I would push habits that are bad. I would tell them that, hey, all the things that make you successful in this country, don't do that. That's just for white folks. You do the opposite of the things that make you successful because we know what's best for you. And I would also tell black people that they're victims. I would put critical race theory in school so that people think that white people are superior to them, right? And that white people have better opportunities in life than them. So that way, black people don't even try. Why try when you know that white people are the only ones that can achieve anything in life, right? Don't even try to work hard. Don't work smart. Don't do any of that stuff. Just depend on the government don't even try okay don't even try to compete because you can't everything is stacked against you there is literally no difference between what i would do if i was a white supremacist and what the democrats and the left tries to impose on black people there's no difference whatsoever and this is why i push back so hard against the democrat slash liberal liberal narrative when it comes to the black community and like i said people like to call it soft but it's not soft this is hard bigotry Hard bigotry of low expectations. Hard bigotry. That's what it is. And shout out to this black woman who called it like it is, who told nothing but truth, who spoke facts, who dispelled a narrative that as a black person, I'm supposed to be afraid of the police when statistically speaking, I'm more likely to be shot by somebody that looks like me than a police officer. Those are just the facts. And like she said, they do this in order to maintain control and power. And you use fear, right? If you're scared, if you're fearful, that's how you can easily be controlled. And this is why the left wants black America to live in fear of the white supremacist ghost, right? <laughs> Even though, again, I, I've never seen any white supremacists in my life, but hey, they, they wanna tell you they're out there, they're out there, don't worry, they, they're coming after you. You know, it's in the police. Is at the hospitals, is at the grocery store. Systemic racism is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They want you living in fear. Because that way they can control you. 
They can push their solutions as the answer to your problems when they can't solve our problems. Nobody can solve black people's problems except other black people. That's it. Point blank, period. Nobody else is solving those problems. It's very simple stuff. It's a simple playbook. And I would love to see more black women calling out the leftist lunacy like this black woman did because she was excellent. It was amazing. Okay. So like I said, I ain't got that much to add to this. She said everything that could be said a lot better than I could say it. Who knows? Maybe she should start a YouTube channel. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.